As beautiful as these corals are, there's something missing from these reefs, coming up in this FinCast. The beautiful coral reefs off the Florida Keys. The reefs are teeming with life, corals, and fish of all varieties. But since the 1970s, the reefs have been changing. There are now more gorgonians and other soft corals and fewer of the staghorn and elkhorn corals whose calcium skeletons created the reefs to begin with. That's, good. Not That's where Kenny Niedemeyer, founder of the Coral Restoration Foundation, comes in. Niedemeyer has discovered a way to repopulate the reefs with the Acropora species that have been slowly disappearing due to disease and ocean storms. If you're thinking, well, this has nothing to do with my aquarium, think again. Kenny Niedermeyer's inspiration came from hobbyists. He saw what we were doing in our aquariums, and he said, well, that'll work even better out here. And he was right. We started watching the hobbyists and realized, hey, these guys are cutting these things up and gluing them and doing all these crazy things on land. I thought, if they can do it on land, I can do it underwater. And Niedemeyer pioneered the technique of growing corals in a nursery, and today there are 21,000 pieces of coral under the foundation's care. It's something I don't think we should walk away from and say it's too late. Uh, we, we started this nursery in 2001, so we've, we've been going for you know about 10 years now, and uh, we started doing restoration work on the reef in 2003. So. Now, Niedemeyer and his team work the reefs, cleaning the corals, taking meticulous notes on their progress, and rehanging those knocked down by turtles, sharks, and storms. We started growing the, cor the nerd corals on a uh, little disc that we had on uh, various attachment points on the bottom, and it just, it was a lot of work to keep them clean, and they, they kind of need to be clean on a regular basis when they were growing like that. And we got the idea of growing them suspended from lines uh, and so we've kind of dabbled around with different ways of doing that. We came up with this uh, tree nursery idea. It, it gets the corals up off the sand. Uh, they seem to grow faster. They don't get disease. Uh, they just do so much better, almost no maintenance at all. So we, we can grow a, a five centimeter fragment of coral to a fully, uh, you know, a, a colony ready to go on the reef in about nine months. After a fragment, or frag, reaches the appropriate size, it's transplanted to a section of the reef once dominated by these hard corals. The hope is that the populations will once again begin to reproduce and grow. Now we, we look for areas of reefs that they used to grow at, uh, where either of the two corals used to grow, and maybe they died from a hurricane or disease or something like that, but we, we pretty much... Uh, we, have found that they will still grow in those reefs, they just need to be reintroduced, and so that's our, our task. On this day, they're visiting a section of reefs sponsored by Boyd Enterprises, which makes Chemipure and other products for the aquarium industry. More and more, Niedermeyer is seeing interest from aquarium hobbyists and businesses like Boyd. You know, uh, people like Boyd Enterprises, you know, people like Jeff from Boyd Enterprises have uh, really been crucial to to getting the word out and, and helping us connect with the hobby and uh, just making it all happen. Uh, we've gone to a couple of trade shows and we've got some coming up and he's set up some large tanks for us and we've been able to put our corals, our cultured corals in the tank along with some display work that we have and the, the shows that we've been to, the, the tanks are just showstoppers. People walk by and they go, wow, look at that. And they, they stop and they look at it and then we start telling them all about our, you know, how those corals got there and it's been a huge hit for us. We've, we've had engaged a lot of different aquarium clubs and um, hobbyists coming down, helping us maintain the nursery, helping us cut and mount new corals. Uh, they've come and adopted sections of the reef and we love to have them. And they know what they're talking about. They're not, uh, they're not like the average diver. They're much more educated. Aquarium people, uh, and I've been in the industry most of my life, they're the best ones to work with because they really appreciate it, they really love it, and they take home a, a story that's just, you know, 
it's great. The CRF is a nonprofit organization and relies upon government grants, donations, and businesses for funding. Niedermeyer is hoping the aquarium hobby will take the lead in keeping his dream alive of reestablishing these corals on reefs in the United States and across the Caribbean. But here's a chance for the aquarium community to really be the movers and shakers and the drivers of this whole uh, program here in Florida and as it moves into the Caribbean and elsewhere. And I, I really want to, you know, everybody know that this is the aquarium community that started this. This is a tropical fish collector that's behind it. And uh, I, I think it's a great story for our, our business and, and for the people that are in this hobby. And I think that as we move forward with all these different hobbyists involved, we're going to get a lot of great ideas. And I just, it's a great group of people. And I'm, I think this is a, their story as much as it is mine.